Rapunzel's parents ruled a very grand kingdom with a wonderful <laughs> castle and a harbor full of ships. <laughs> Even when she was very tiny, she liked to do things her way. <laughs> Mama! As soon as she could talk, Rapunzel decided she wanted to be called Rap. Rap's parents were good rulers and took their job seriously. Ah! Ah! Since Rap would be their queen one day, her parents wanted to be sure she would grow up to be a responsible, caring ruler. So they searched far and wide for the best teacher in all the realm and found Professor Grapes. Professor Grapes was known to be a little odd and very strict. But she had a very long list of references. <laughs> yeah! Mm. Ta-da! Hello, Mama. Who are you? Mama? How do you do, Rapunzel? I'm your new teacher, Professor Grapes. How do you do, Professor Grapes? Please, call me Rap. The king and queen hated to send Rap away, even for a little while, but they knew she would learn to be an excellent ruler one day. And so Professor Grapes took Rap to live in a tower deep in the woods. There would be few distractions there. Up there? Really? Why, yes. When Rap saw the ladder, she thought her new home away from home was going to be really fun. Wow, so many books. I'm looking forward to reading them all. Let's start with this one. The Rearing of Royalty. Chapter One. Appropriate attire and demeanor. Rap soon found out this prince's training was very serious business. Every morning, Professor Grapes arrived for Rap's lessons. Good morning, Professor Grapes. Good morning, Rapunzel. Are you ready to learn? Oh, yes, Professor Grapes. Please, call me Rap. The Rearing of Royalty, Chapter 2, Appropriate Hairstyles. Hmm. Each morning, they studied a chapter from The Rearing of Royalty. In the afternoons, they moved on to more traditional royal lessons. As time passed, Rap's hair grew long. According to The Rearing of Royalty, this was proper for a princess. Soon, the ladder was no longer needed. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair! Good morning, Professor Grapes! Good morning, Rapunzel! Are you ready to learn? Oh, yes, Professor Grapes! But please, call me Rap. Ninety! Ninety-one! Ninety-two! <laughs> Hello to you, too. Out of the blue, someone equally colorful came into Rap's life. I'm going to call you Triple Ripple. 
since you remind me of my favorite ice cream colors. <laughs> four times four is... <laughs> Shoo! Professor Grapes disapproved, especially when Triple Ripple kept rap from her studies. But her science studies had greatly improved since his arrival. The primaries, the secondaries, and the tail feathers. Professor Grapes loved having such a smart and curious student. Oh. But she worried Rap wasn't turning out to be the proper princess her royal parents were hoping for. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair! Good morning, Rapunzel. Are you ready to learn? Actually, Professor Grapes, I'm already learning. <gasps> There's a new ship in the harbor. Can you tell me its size? Get down off that roof! No, wait! I'll help you! <gasps> no! Oh. Don't worry, Professor Grapes. I tied off my braid in case I slipped. Professor Grapes explained the difference between doing things that are unprincess like and doing things that are dangerous. Rap promised to never go out on the roof again. Hi, Triple Ripple. I thought it'd be easy being a good princess, but it's not easy at all. The real me, the real me. Just who is she? Who's the real me? Could I ever be what they want to see? Oh, why can't I just be the real me? I'm the girl who climbs some trees, who runs too fast and scrapes her knees. What makes them think that I'll succeed? I've got everything a princess doesn't need. The real me, the real me, just who is she, who's the real me? Could I ever be what they want me to be? Oh, why can't I just be the real me? A princess needs to have command, not do a perfect handstand, can't do the things I love to do. That's why I feel so split in two. I can be the right kind of princess. <gasps> That's it! When I really try at something, I mean really, really try, I always succeed. So, if I really try to be the very best princess ever, I can do it. I will do it. Then Professor Grapes and my parents will be happy and I'll be the best ruler this land's ever seen. Five times two is 10. Five times three is 15. Five times four is 20. Multiplication can be fun. Do one wrong, go back to one. Six times two is 12. Six times three is 18. Six times four is 24. Six times five is 30. Multiplication can Who be fun. Who is that? Fun. Especially when you're almost done. <laughs> <laughs> Hello! Where'd you come from? We were going to ask you the same thing. I'm Maid Strawberry, and this is Squire Huckleberry. We heard your, uh, singing. It didn't take much time for them to get to know each other. So you are Princess Rapunzel? 
the Princess Rapunzel? <laughs> Please, call me Rap. Uh, Maid Strawberry wants to know, can we come up? Uh, may we Princess Rap? <sighs> I wish I could, but I have so much homework to do. What if we helped you study, Princess Rap? I think that's a great idea. But where's the door? Uh, your royalness? Your royalness? <laughs> the name's Rap. Just Rap. Whatever you say, Rap. Huh? huh? <laughs> what are you waiting for? In no time at all, they were best of friends. Oh, do you play too? I'm terrible. Worse than terrible. Here's something you'll like. Hey, can you teach me how to play like that? Suddenly, Rap's homework didn't feel like work at all. Goodbye. See you tomorrow, Professor Grapes. Every day after Professor Grapes left, Rap's new friends came to help her study. Why not study the real thing? Good idea! Rap was happy her new friends liked to learn as much as she did. Her violin playing was suddenly much better. 126, 127, 128. And jumping jacks weren't as dull when Rap had Squire Huck's fun exercise to look forward to. This is great! Rap loved libraries. And when Maid Strawberry found out she loved chips too, she checked out books so that Rap could devote hours to researching. <gasps> Thank you, Maid Strawberry! The hours passed quickly for Princess Rap. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair! <gasps> In the last few months, Professor Grapes had been pleased by Rap's progress. She seemed to be taking her princess lessons very seriously. But lately, the professor had noticed her less-than-royal behavior coming back. That afternoon, Professor Grapes waved goodbye, but she didn't leave. Then she heard the music. <gasps> Stop it now! Where is Her Highness? What have you done with her? You mean Rap? Go! Oh! Professor Grapes! <whistles> Rap hoped Professor Grapes would understand, but the professor wasn't listening. Her most promising student had taken a wrong turn in her princess education. Pack your things. Rap was scared she'd never see her friends again. They walked a long way. Oh! The ocean! Rap was very excited. Maybe Professor Grapes was going to teach her about ships and navigation after all. <clears throat> but that wasn't what the professor had in mind. It was just like the first tower, but this one was surrounded by nothing but deep, icy water. Oh, no! Poor Rap. Rap knew Professor Grapes was doing what she thought was best, but Rap kept thinking. How on this deserted island will I ever learn to be a great ruler? <sighs> Professor Grapes! Professor Grapes! The tide is carrying you out! 
Professor Grapes knew nothing about the tides, since it wasn't anything important for royals to know. But Rob could see she wasn't getting any closer to shore. She had to take matters in her own hands. All Rap could think about was saving her teacher. <laughs> Professor Grapes had no idea the danger she was in. Such a promising princess. But she's not focusing properly. When I get back to the castle this evening, I must read the rearing of royals cover to cover. I'm missing something very important. Professor Grapes! Rapunzel! What are you doing out here? I came to help you, Professor Grapes. Take my hand! Oh, no! It's getting dark. Don't worry, Professor Grapes. I can't get us back where we started. But once I locate the North Star, I can steer us all the way round to Royal Bay. Professor Grapes was speechless. Rap was indeed a strong princess. There it is! It's the North Star! We can make it back now! She showed Miss Grapes the constellations and explained how sailors over the ages used them to navigate the oceans. At dawn, Rap sailed them into the Royal Bay as she'd promised. It was a very happy homecoming. <laughs> <laughs> Mama! Papa! Even happier for Rap and her parents. <laughs> her parents were very, very proud. Wait! Here, Professor, your textbook. Thank you, dear girl. I know how much it means to you. <laughs> no, not for the book, for you. Thank you for being you. I just want to say I'm sorry for trying to hold you back from all the things that make you stand out from the pack. Instead of making you fit into our image of a star, we should celebrate the special princess you already are. Cause you can be a princess like that, why don't you go and be real? Cause a princess like that would be ideal. So who says you gotta start out being just one little thing? Find the many different parts of you that make your spirit sing. Don't let anybody tell you being different makes you weak. Cause a tomboy looking fiddle playing princess is unique. You can be a princess like that, cause what counts is you inside. Yes, you'll be a princess like that. Life by the book. So you can be a princess like that, a princess who is true. You will be a princess like that, and you'll be uniquely you. So go and be a princess like that, why don't you go and be real? Yes, a princess like that would be I. I'm going to donate this to the museum. Are you sure? Oh, yes. That's the right place for it, right along with all the other outdated notions. When they reached the castle, Professor Grapes resigned as Rap's teacher. A girl as promising as Rap deserved a much finer teacher than herself. But Rap wouldn't let her resign. Aside from the rearing of royalty, which was now in a museum, Rap knew Professor Grapes was a very fine teacher. Rap insisted she be promoted to head teacher at the castle. Good morning. 
Rap, are you ready to learn? Oh, yes, Professor Grapes. And thank you for calling me Rap. And every day when Professor Grapes was done teaching, it was her turn to be the student. <laughs> What's this? <laughs> he says, open it and see. Oh, it's from Caramel Corn. Who's she? She's a friend who owns a fantastic little farm not so far from here. Dear Strawberry, she says, It's been a while, and I'd love to see you sometime. Try to visit soon. If you want to see the farm again, I can't afford to keep it much longer. Sounds like something's very wrong. I better take a trip down there tomorrow. Let's go pack. <laughs> We're almost there. Strawberry? Strawberry shortcake? Caramel corn! <clears throat> I don't think you've met my pets. This is Custard, and that's Pupcake. They wanted to come along. I hope it's okay. Well, sure, bring your things in. I can't wait to show you the farm. It's been kind of hard running this place by myself, but I made some changes to make it easier. This is a little invention of mine a pipe system to water the fields. I'd forgotten what a wonderful place this is. It's just about the greatest place ever. There are fancier houses in beautiful cities on fabulous acres of land. But to me, Letter worried me, Caramel Corn. What's wrong? Things haven't been going so well lately. The next payment on the farm is due soon, and I may not be able to make it. Why not? Well, seems everything that can go wrong is going wrong these days. Come on, let me show you. There's something up with my chickens. I used to get 12 dozen eggs a day from these chickens. Now I'm only getting six. Do you have any idea why? Oh, I know exactly why. My chickens are disappearing. They're running off at least one a night. 
How very strange. That's not all that's going wrong. Come with me. <laughs> Same thing with the cows. I started noticing milk production was way down. Turns out I've lost 10 cows in the past few weeks. There must be some reason for it. And I wish I knew what it was. It's getting late. You must be tired after your drive here. Come on. <sighs> I don't know what's making my animals run off, but pretty soon I won't have any left. That's why I'm gonna sell the farm. Oh, caramel corn. I don't have any choice. It's time to give it up. You can't give up. Let us help you. Do you think you can, Strawberry? I'm not sure exactly how, but I'll think of something. Just don't give up yet. Thanks, Strawberry. Oh, no! What's happened, Caramel Corn? Now the pigs have run away, too. And I used to have ten sheep. I don't understand why they'd run away. Oh? What is it, Pupcake? I don't think they ran away, Caramel Corn. What do you mean? Tire tracks. Oh. It looks like your pigs were put in a truck and hauled off. But who could be doing this? Somebody who wants your farm closed down. Strawberry! Oh, shortcake! Ah, ah, ah. Soon I'll have that caramel corn's little farm and I can open my amusement park. Pie Man Land. I'll be richer than rich. You always say that, and something always goes wrong. Ha! What can possibly go wrong? Strawberry Hot Shortcake is here! She won't stop me. We have to make sure these animals stay safe. We'll keep watch on them tonight, all night. You watch the horses, okay, Caramel Corn? Got it, Strawberry. Custard, you keep an eye on the cows. And Pupcake, you take the chickens, okay? <coughs> Please, Pupcake. <coughs> and whatever you do, don't fall asleep. <coughs> Can't fall asleep. Come on, Custard, you can do it. Strawberry, I'm going to lose this farm. Caramel Corn, what are you doing? It's a for sale sign. I'm selling the farm. Oh no, Caramel Corn, don't do that. You can't give up. We can. Hmm. What's this? Why, look, Pie Man. It's a quaint little farm, and it's for sale. Well, well. <laughs> I suppose I might be interested in buying the place, if the price is right. What do you want with this farm? Oh, I've always dreamed of living on one. And this place is so lovely. I'm sure we can make a deal here. 
I suppose I have no choice. Caramel corn, wait! Why, Strawberry? You don't have to sell your farm. We can make it work. I know we can. Okay. If you really think so. I know so. Sorry, but I'll keep trying. A little longer. That means the place isn't for sale. Doesn't she know when to give up? What are you doing, Strawberry? That's your sleeping bag. I'm going to set a trap and find out once and for all what's happening. What kind of trap? You'll see. How do we look, Caramel Corn? Like the strangest sheep I ever saw. When it gets a little darker, they'll never know the difference between us and the real sheep. Yeah, right, if you say so. You better go now. We'll take care of everything. <laughs> Be careful, Strawberry. Don't worry, we will. Now let's make this convincing, okay? You too! Someone's coming! You grab that one over there, I'll get this one. What about these funny looking ones? I don't care what they look like. Grab them all. <laughs> Quickly now, let's get out of here before someone sees us. It's the pie man, isn't it, Strawberry? Sure is, and sour grapes too. What's happening now, Strawberry? Where are we going? I don't really know, Custard. Now, shoo! Move along! I could have sworn there were more of them. All I know is Caramel Corn has none, and we have them all. That no good pie man. <laughs> Those are Caramel Corn's chickens, aren't they? And her cows, and horses, and pigs, and sheep. What's that? Over there! Oh, my. What's it say, Strawberry? Future home of Pie Man Land? World's greatest amusement park! I tell you, I heard the chicken squawking! Well, they're not squawking now. Oh, I can't stand being around all these filthy creatures. How much longer do we have to do this? As soon as I get that useless farm, I'll tear it down and put up a parking lot. We can shuttle visitors to my giant amusement park. <gasps> Pie Man Land! It'll be stupendous! What are we going to do, Strawberry? First, we have to get back and tell Caramel Corn. <coughs> Don't worry, Pupcake. We'll come back for all the animals very soon. Let's hurry now. Turn my farm into a parking lot? Oh, this is hopeless. No, it's going to be all right. I have an idea. This is what we'll do. Hello? Yeah, yeah? Sure, you know I will. Hi, Strawberry. Oh, I'll be right there. You can, of course I'll help. Thanks, please hurry. So what's your big plan, Strawberry? 
We're going to have a good old-fashioned country fair. Yeah! yeah. Oh, oh, right. A fair! Yeah. A fair? But why? We'll have food and hay rides and a petting zoo, and we'll earn enough money to pay for your farm. Just tell us what to do. Where's the petting zoo going to be? How about over there? But how could we have a petting zoo when all my animals are gone? Don't worry, we're taking care of that. Come on, Pupcake. I don't like the looks of this. What is it? What's going on? Strawberry Shortcake is up to something, and all I know is I don't like it. Country Fair! Can we go? Can we, Pie Man? No! But I want to. It looks fun. Don't you see what they're doing? They're trying to make enough money to save that farm. But they won't make it if no one comes to the fair. Do you see any sign of that pie man, Pupcake? <coughs> Listen up, everybody. We have to get back to Carmel's farm, and fast. Follow us. There, that ought to do it. What do you think, Carmel Corn? Everything looks wonderful, Strawberry. But what about the petting zoo? We still don't have the animals. You mean these? Come on, Custard, Pupcake. I'll show you where they go. Nothing to do now but open the gates. All right. Where's the line of customers for our country fair? I don't understand. I was sure this was gonna work. Wait, here comes someone. Oh, no! Ah, time for the big fair? Oh, look, we're your only customers. What a shame! Oh, well, maybe you'll sell now, eh? What do you think, Strawberry? Guess there's nothing left to do. Strawberry Shortcake, check it out! The signs are pointing the wrong way. Oh, don't sell yet, Caramel Corn! Come on, Huckleberry! This is taking too much time. What are you waiting for? Why won't you sell to me? Because that would be quitting, and I won't quit. Everybody, she's back! Seems somebody changed our signs, Pie Man. This way, everyone! Please, come on in and welcome to the country fair! I can't believe it. She's done it again! <sighs> I knew she would. Give me an oink. <laughs> Throw me a moo. Moo. Let's hear a ba ba. You know what to do. There's fun and food for everyone to share. At the country fair. Welcome to the country fair. Give me a squat. <laughs> How about a name? Let's hear a honk. Oh. 
And here you go, my friend. Give your best shot. Sorry, Mr. Pie Man, but I guess I won't be selling the farm after all, thanks to Strawberry Shortcake. Yes, thank you, Strawberry Shortcake. I would have given up if it hadn't been for you, Strawberry. Hey, glad I could help. Now come on, let's have some fun. This must be the most gorgeous forest in the world. Oh, I don't know about that. I've seen many other gorgeous forests. Forests of redwoods, of pines, and s'mores. Yes, but this one is very incredible. Okay, where do we find a saddle for Angel? Oh, honey, I don't know what Angel would do with a saddle. Why not? Who wouldn't love a saddle? I love saddles. Well, saddles are very nice, but you are a pony. Saddles are good for ponies, but Angel is not a pony. She could be half girl and half pony. I have met creatures like that before in my travels. Merry Christmas! We're up here! Merry Christmas! The angels on top of the trees are talking to us. Oh! I love trees, but they sometimes get in the way. I also need to find a present for Custard. I just know she'll change her mind about presents when she wakes up. I can help. What does she like? Well, she enjoys sleeping. Then how about a sleeping willow? But that might make her want to sleep more. Aha! Maybe she needs an alarm tree. I don't think so. She gets angry when someone wakes her up. Hmm, this is a tough one. Did I mention that she was a cat? A cat? Well, why didn't you say so? She will need a cat tree, something that looks like her and that she can use for scratching. Mm -mm. would be perfect for Custard. And here is a special angel for your friend Angel. Wow! Two gifts in the same place. A cat tree for Custard and an angel for Angel. That's what I call progress. You are very welcome. Are you sure Custard wouldn't rather have a saddle? No, the cat tree will be very perfect if she ever wakes up from her nap. I can't believe Custard is still asleep. Neither can Puff Cake. <sighs> Does anybody want another cookie? No thanks, Ginger. I couldn't take another bite. Me either. They're that bad? That good. Oh, they're the best cookies I've ever eaten and eaten. Same here. I think I'm going to be sick. <laughs> What's taking the strawberry so long? I hope she's not caught in the snowstorm. I'm sure she's doing better than we are. Still, how long does it take to go Christmas shopping? <laughs> Maybe Strawberry's lost. How can she be lost? She's with honey. Deck the halls with boughs of holly. Fa la 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 la. Have I told you about how I think a saddle would be an excellent gift for Pupcake? Oh, honey, what would a dog do with a saddle? How would you feel if Pupcake gave you a bone? A bone? That would be silly. What would a pony do with a bone? We must be on Carol Lane. <laughs> Chestnut bells? 
No, a collar with bells. Cupcake would love that. He loves to make noise. And then we would know when he was coming. Honey, are you sure the shop is on Carol Lane? Positive. I've been there a million times. Or was it once? But I know it has a bright red door. Or a green one. I hope we find it soon. It's getting pretty dark. <gasps> Burr! And cold. Here it is. This is the place to get the bells. Strawberry Shortcake. And this is my friend Honey Pie Pony. Merry Christmas. How can I help? We're looking for a bell. <laughs> You've come to the right place. We sell every kind of bell in the whole world. It sure looks that way. Do you have a saddle with bells? No, we have cowbells. What about stirrups with bells? Honey? No, we have jingly jingle bells. Reins with bells? A horse blanket with bells? How about sleigh bells or a doorbell? I suppose a feed bag with bells is out of the question. Wait, I have just the thing. You do? An elephant bell! Honey, look! Would you trade some fresh strawberries for this bell collar? But of course! A bell collar they have. Thank you very much. Fa la 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 la! Let's see. We have the sugar plum bush for orange, the cookie cutters for ginger, the bell collar for cupcake, the cat tree for custard, the wagon for apple, and the angel for angel. But we still have nothing for Huck. Maybe we should check out Holidayland's northern outskirts. It could be a tad treacherous, but we can handle it. What's so bad about Holiday Lance Northern Outskirts? What's so bad? The Northern Outskirts are the far reaches of the North Pole. It's slick with ice. A horse could slip right off the top of the world and into a bottomless crevice. Did you ever hear about Ralph the Purple-Tailed Reindeer? Gee, I didn't know there was a Purple-Tailed Reindeer. Of course you didn't. Ralph went to the northern outskirts, slipped into a crevice, and was never seen again. We have to go ahead with it. Really? My mind is made up. Huck is my friend. I can't forget his present. All right, Strawberry. We'll chance it. Even though it's freezing, it's scary, and those who go there seldom return. Or was that the northern outskirts of New Mexico? Thanks for pulling the wagon for me, honey. It's getting very cold. We must be near the North Pole. It's not nearly as cold as the South Pole, or even the Flag Pole. Whoa! I think we might have to head home without a present for Huck. Seems like the wind is taking us even farther away from home. Oh my goodness! 
might turn out to be one of my most memorable trips. I'd better get a lot of pictures. Smile! Ho, ho, ho! Oh, oh, oh! It's you! It's really you, Santa! I can't tell you how very happy I am to be here! I never ever thought I'd meet you, have a chance to see your face. I never ever thought I'd travel to this amazing place. I never ever thought I'd be here, out of everywhere I roam. This very merry ho 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 Hello ho ho, I'm here I'm happy as can be I feel it's real but could it be I'm dreaming Hello ho ho, I'm here It's very plain to see Tonight the brightest star for me Is gleaming I never ever thought I'd meet you I waited for this day In the hope that I could greet you As you loaded up your sleigh I'm very, very pleased you came here. How far you had to roam. I hope you have a jolly visit to my ho 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 Hello, ho ho, she's here. Ho, ho. She's happy as can be. Ho, ho. She feels it's real, but could it be? She's dreaming. Hello, ho ho, she's here. It's very plain to see. I'm happy you're here too, Strawberry. I hear you've been, as they say, very good. Now, what would you like for Christmas? Why are you crying, Strawberry? Are you afraid you won't get what you want? No. It's that I'm afraid I won't find what I want for my dear friend, Huck. I have so many very fine friends. And I just want to get everyone something that is right for them. Oh, Strawberry, trust me. You will find a wonderful gift for your friend. I will? How do you know? I know all about your friend, Strawberry. How do you think I know who's awake and who's sleeping? Now, what do you want for Christmas? Uh, I don't know. I don't really want anything. Just something for Huck. And a saddle, a brush, and some reins, a new blanket, some more detangler, lots of carrots, some hay, some new horseshoes. Excuse me, Santa, but I think we'd better be going. Already? You haven't met Mrs. Claus or seen my sleigh. And I'd like to, but... And I haven't finished telling Santa what I want. I'm sure he has a very good idea. Right. I'll get everything ready. Of course, it'd be a lot easier if I had a saddle. <laughs> ho ho! Come to think of it, I need to be going myself. It's almost Christmas Eve. Oh dear, I still don't know what I'm getting Huck. I have a feeling you will, and soon. Really? I'm Santa, remember? I know things. You sure do. Thank you, Santa. Getting to meet you was the best present ever. It was an even better present for me. Bye, Strawberry. Bye, Santa. Have a very Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. These are terrible road conditions. They remind me of the time that... Later, honey. I don't think we'll make it back to Strawberry Land in time for Christmas. Oh, honey, don't think like that. Huh? 
What? Take that! You take that! <laughs> that looks very fun! You've never had a snowball fight before? Why, I was one of the organizers of the first Snowball Olympics. Why, I've seen some of the snowiest snow in the world on Mount Powder and, of course, Flaky Heights. <laughs> Take that! Snowballs. He'll love them. I still think a nice saddle is the way to go. Okay, the snowballs are all loaded up. We have a very long trip ahead of us, so we better get going. Giddy up. Sorry, Strawberry. And so I found the perfect gift for each and every one of you. But they got a little wet. That's okay, Strawberry. You can give me mine a little wet. Little wet? Well, actually, they are very, very wet. That doesn't matter. What counts is that we are together. Christmas is about love, not about presents. shape and size but the present I like best is better than a prize it has no special wrapping it's not in a store it is a gift of friendship and is well worth waiting for friends hold your hand friends make you smile they are always there for you friends make life The present I like best You never have to buy It comes without a ribbon It comes without a bow It is the gift of friendship The finest gift I know Friends, hold your hand Friends, make you smile They are always there for you Friends, make life worthwhile There is one Hey, Strawberry, you can stop the joke now. What joke, Orange? You said our gifts were ruined. They are! Then what are these? My goodness! Where did these come from? The new wagon! Thank you, Strawberry! This is perfect! Mine, too! 
Thanks. How did you know what I wanted? What? Huh? Good morning, everyone. Boy, do I feel rested. Merry Christmas, Custard. Something for moi? After a good week's sleep, I've changed my opinion of gifts. This is worth waking up for. Snowballs! Cool! No, even better than cool! They're cold! How did you keep them frozen? It was very difficult. What? For me? Oh my, Popcake, you shouldn't have. A bone? A bone for a pony? I mean, really. See, honey? Remember what I told you? When you give a gift, you should think about who is receiving it and what that person would like. I get it. Now I get it. Oh, I almost forgot, honey. I have something for you. A brand new saddle! How did you ever know what I wanted? What? friends around me. <sighs> Plus, after my shopping adventure, I think I will be needing a little nap. That was a great joke, Strawberry. For a minute, I thought our presents were ruined. Well, really, I... Thank you, Santa. Thank you so very much. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! The berryest ever! <laughs> <laughs>